get it one bit agent out here today we're going to look into the lenovo thinkpad x390 yoga now the yoga is a two-in-one, one so it can be a laptop and then it can be converted swing flip back and then it can be converted into a tablet so it's pretty cool and it does house a pen so we'll look at that into it later anyway so this is a 13.3 inch screen here as you can see and it does have a pretty thin bezel which is fantastic the x390 yoga in australia retails for two thousand two hundred dollars and in us you're looking at one thousand two hundred and ninety dollars so this house is a eighth generation intel processor you can get an i5 and an i seven version of this computer and it can go up to 16 gigs of ram and one terabyte of ssd and the graphics is intel 620 integrated graphics and you can't get a discrete graphics chipset on this at all now looking back at the screen it is a 13.3 inch full hd touchscreen it is ips and it can do a maximum of 300 nits brightness so it can actually do pretty decent in broad daylight. So weight wise, it is 1.29 kilos. So it is in the range of the ultra light range. Um, so it is pretty light there. So let's have a look at the ports here. So this is the right hand side of the laptop. And of course we've got the pen here, which is garage. And we have the power button. We've got a micro SD card reader. We've got a USB type A. Now this is 3.1. And we've got the HDMI port and a security port here. Now along the back here we have the exhaust fan of course and of course there's nothing here because this is a tool one now looking at the left hand side of the laptop we have a USB-C type now this is for powering the computer and also it will do display as well and then we have the Thunderbolt hidden in this special port here dongle port now they will have a special dongle which you can actually do the ethernet and this here combined together will actually be for one of their docking station which is the cs18 so more of a clamping style there and then we have another usb a type now this is 3.1 again and we've got an audio combo jack and the optional smart card reader slot here as well of course in the front there's pretty much nothing at the front here it does have a 720p webcam on this and it does have a privacy shutter. Now Lenovo has been doing this for a lot of their laptops and I really enjoy that they've been doing this for most of their laptops. Now what it is, is just a little shutter here on top which basically just turns off the camera and also it actually physically puts a shutter over it so you can't actually turn on or if it does, it will just see a black screen. So the shutter itself is just a little lever on top here. You do need a little bit of fingernails and pretty much you just swing it to the right and you will see the webcam actually goes red, which means it's been shut off and you, you won't be able to see anything. So you don't have to need those blue tacks or electrical tapes to cover it. So it's pretty sweet. Now as for the keyboard, you've actually got the Lenovo keyboard. Now the Lenovo keyboard is really good. They've got a nice amount of travel, bit of tactile feel to it, which is great. And they're very rugged as well. Now, they've also included track point, which is that little red nipple there. Um, I've also known it as the G spot or the <laughs> keyboard nipple. And again, this is one of the legacy things for, to move the mouse around. And also these two buttons here are the left and right mouse clicks as well. Now as for the trackpad it is pretty smooth and it does pretty well for what it is for a Windows computer. It is mechanical so you'll feel it move around as well. And you'll see also located on the right side of the trackpad is optional fingerprint reader as well. Now the X390 Yoga does house a ThinkPad Pen Pro on the back end of it. So if you flip it around to the back, you'll actually see on the bot right hand hand corner and pretty much you use a little finger and you can pretty much just pop it out there. And so it's got its own little garage system there. So when it's garage or docked, it is recharging the battery of this pen. So you don't need to have buy any batteries for this, which is pretty nice. Now this pen does 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity so it's pretty up there with the microsoft surfaces and it's pretty much got two buttons here which you can actually customize now you do need to download the lenovo pen software on this now it does come from the microsoft store so you need to download it from there and pretty much you can customize these two buttons here the bottom and top barrel which is what they usually call it and you can customize with a whole different functions on those 
two buttons there. Now we'll do a jetty test on this pen on this computer. So that'll be near the end of this video. So please sure to stay tuned on that. Now I'd love to hear what you would use the pen for. Put a comment below if this is something that you actually use a lot. For myself, I don't really use it much, but I do know there are many uses for this pen. So the laptop does come with a 65 watt power supply and it does have rapid charge. So we can charge the battery in one hour's time, we'll do 80% of the battery. So it's pretty sweet. The X390 Yoga does house a free cell battery and they rate it at 14 and a half hours. Now that's in super crazy power saving mode. But when I did the testing from it, you're looking at a range of one and a half hours to all eight to eight hours. So one and a half hours when you're pretty much just smashing this computer with its CPU at 100% all the way through or playing games, you're looking around about one and a half hours. And for average use, you're looking around about eight hours with about 50% brightness of the screen itself. Now I did measure the sound volume of this computer. What's the maximum volume it can go? And I used my decibel meter from my phone, mobile phone and it managed to pull 88 decibels from around about 10 centimeters away from this computer. So it's pretty loud there. Now, as for the quality of the sound, I actually didn't mind it because the speakers are located on the bottom and they kind of give, because it's actually sounding down to the table or your surface, it gave it a bit of a, like a surround sound feel to it. So I actually enjoyed it a lot. Now, when I did the performance stress and battery tests of this computer, I did actually take note of how loud this computer is and also its temperature. Now, as for temperature wise, I just use my food for the monitor. That's all I've really got. And I pretty much located the heat. Now the heat, it's most of the heat comes around about where the R and T key is and E key. So that's where the most of the heat is. Um, and the other place that you'll find is near the top here. So that's close to where pretty much where the exhaust fan is. So the exhaust fan on this computer is located on the back of the hinge, close to the hinge down there. Uh, it's different to the normal X390, which was on the side. So this one is pretty much on the back of the hinge there and it does a pretty good job at what it does. Now, when I did measure it, I pretty much ran this computer at 100% stress level for over about an hour and then I did the measurement. Now, with my food for thermometer, I managed to pull 43.5 degrees Celsius around where the R key is and a maximum of 60 decibel with my mobile phone decibel meter at about 10 centimeters away from the exhaust fan. As for op normal operation use, from anywhere between 30 to 60% CPU usage over an hour. Now it is a little bit warm, but it's not crazy hot, so it's still quite touchable and it's quite usable still. So here I've got the Yoga and I've got the X390, the normal 390, and I can just do a comparison on the two very quickly. So just for really the size difference, spec wise, they're pretty much the same in a way. Uh, I will do another review of the normal X390 a little bit later, and I'll put the link in the description below when I, that is up, and I'll probably see a pop up here as well too. So anyway, as for wise, let's have a compare of the thickness wise. So back to back, we have the Yoga on the right hand side and the normal X390 on the left hand side. As you can see, the Yoga is a little bit thinner, but I don't really think they're actually thinner. I think it's actually because of the legs, uh, which is the rubber bits on the back on the bottom of the computer to lift it up. So truthfully, it's about the same sort of size there. Now, I've just put them back to back to each other and pretty much they are the exact same, which is kind of nice. So now we're color calibrating the screen with the Spider 3 Pro. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the funds to actually purchase a newer version of this, but I might set up a donation sometime later in the future to upgrade my calibration tool, but this has been serving me very well for the last couple of years. Now it's finished its calibration of the screen. So this is what the screen in color looks like from directly from factory from Lenovo and this is what it looks like after this color calibration. So before and after, before and after. From what I can see from factory it is a much warmer and after calibration it's a lot more cooler. And also before and after and also fine it's got more of a green tinge from factory as well. 
I hope that helps you with what it looks like in color wise for the built-in screen. So let's just do the line jitter test. And I'm not a digital artist, so I'm just going to try my best to draw just diagonal lines. some quick ones and I'm just going to grab a ruler and see how that goes and I'm going to try and keep my palm on the screen while I do the ruler one now I've done this a few times on some other computers and that's actually not bad at all. I'm just going to do some circles as well. Some slow circles. Spiral here. Quick circles. To test the pressure on this. Now I'm in Photoshop, I've chosen a pretty thick brush. So light, hard, light, hard, light, hard, light, hard, light, hard. Now that area is probably where I've just left the screen a little bit. Now I'm just going to try to do a tilt test. And we don't have any rotation here, I can see no rotation and there doesn't seem to have any tilt as well for this. This is in Photoshop. So I'm going to try and Krista now. So let's just try pressure now. I've got um, brush 5. So I've got brush 5 selected at the moment, which has pressure. And I'm just trying to pressure, so soft, hard, soft. Hard, soft. So it doesn't look like the pressure is working there in Krista. Now I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly or not, uh, but I was reading that brush 5 is, has pressure, uh, as you can see just down here. So if you know how to make it work, if I'm doing something incorrectly, please put a comment below. I'd love to hear how to actually get this thing working. And again, we're going to do a line test for in Krita. So diagonal lines. quick ones and one off the ruler again whoa it's probably me whoa very different in critter isn't it I'm not sure that's the ruler or not oh extra touch don't like the multi-touch in critter Definitely, whoa, so definitely, whoa, uh, if you just have a look down here, that's just me touching that. Critter is very different in multi-touch compared to Photoshop, whoa, doesn't like that. Definitely very weirdly for Critter. I'm just interested to see this in Photoshop again. I'm just going to do this again in Photoshop, the ruler, see if it gets those weird Monkey. Just doing again in Photoshop here with the ruler, and I'm not getting those weird things. So it seems to be clear that doesn't really like those extra palm rejection thing. Now, if you enjoyed the video or find it informative give it a like and if you haven't done already subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button to even support me but do try to upload a new video every Tuesdays and Fridays and as always remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting I'll see you in the next video